You're listening to the Effective Statistician Podcast, a weekly podcast with Alexander Schacht and Benjamin Pieske, designed to help you reach your potential, lead great science and serve patients while having a great work-life balance. In today's episode, I'm calling for people that want to help with building the Effective Statistician Academy. So stay tuned for a really, really nice episode. <music> Today's episode is sponsored by the Effective Statistician Academy. This is an academy that has a growing number of trainings and resources available to become an effective statistician. And in this episode today, you will learn more about how you can contribute to this academy. So stay tuned. I'm producing this podcast in association with PSI, a community dedicated to leading and promoting the use of statistics within the healthcare industry for the benefit of patients. If you have not registered for this year's PSI conference in Amsterdam, then I would urge you to do so. It will be an amazing experience and I'm pretty sure it will be sold out pretty, pretty fast. So head over to psiweb.org to learn more about this conference and all the other PSI activities and become a PSI member today. Welcome to another episode of The Effective Statistician and today I have a really, really great topic. Today I want to talk about how we can get more training to you as a statistician, as a data scientist, as a programmer within the world of healthcare. My vision is to make it really, really easy for people to train others, to help others, to provide education to others, and for people to consume that. The academy that I'm building is a um, collection of all kind of different trainings. It is there to serve the community of statisticians around the world. I know that many of us train others all the time. We train people in terms of programming. We train people in terms of methods. We train people in terms of how to succeed in our organizations how to have a great career, how to negotiate, how all kind of different things. And I want to provide this training to everybody in the world. I know that everybody has a different style of training and everybody has a different preferences in terms of learning. And so I want to provide a rich experience. I want to make it really easy for people to become trained. And I want to make it easy for people to become trained. And therefore, I build a little team in the background that makes this happen. So the only thing, basically, you need to come with is your experience and slides that you want to show and then my team takes care of everything else. We set up the recordings. We make sure that your slides look great. We can, you know, help you with making sure the slides look really, really good, have a nice branding, all these kind of different things. We help with scheduling recordings. We help with scheduling training sessions with the community. We help with all the organizational, logistical things. We help with also marketing, everything, so that it is really, really easy for the trainers. And of course, on the other hand, also easy for the community to learn. Now, I know that there's a lot of different online training sources all around. Yeah. It is so easy just to record, you know, some sessions and whatsoever. Yes, I will also have these pure online recordings and I want to 
offer more than that. I want to make sure that people can also directly interact with the trainers. So most of the courses will not be pure online self-learning, but will be courses where you can interact with the trainers. And for the trainers so that they actually see real statisticians, programmers, data scientists, and get feedback from them directly. We can have various different formats for that. So uh, one format is, for example, a general Q&A, where everybody that is in the course can ask any question to the trainer. And these can be quite fun, especially for things where there's always some new questions coming up. The second is we will have live trainings that are then recorded. That's one of my favorite ways actually to set up trainings. Um, we don't pre-record it, but we actually live record it. That is much more fun. And for the people that participate in the first course, they also have the um, ability to directly interact with the trainer. There will truly be further kind of hybrid things where there are self-learning modules and there are modules that are trained either in bigger groups, in smaller groups, or potentially even in additional one-to-one -one training. And that will make it a really, really rich experience. And much better than the usual online training courses. My experience with these pure self-learning courses is not the best. Very often we purchase these and then we never get to finish them. Yeah, if you look into statistics for online self-learning courses, the completion rate is, I think, about something like 3 to 5% or something like this low. It is really, really bad. And so with this interactive part, we can actually make sure that there's an incentive and that there's a better learning experience so that people actually make it to the end. Because like in medicine, the therapy can only work if it is applied and taken. And of course, lessons and learnings can only get into your brain and into uh, your skill set if you actually complete the trainings. Of course, we will have a lot of feedback loops so that we continuously improve these trainings over time. We will start with trainings in English because that is our kind of language franca. That is kind of the language that nearly everybody talks and we will also allow other languages. So if you rather want to teach in France, French, or in Spanish, or in Italian, or in Portuguese, or in Chinese, or whatever, let me know. And we can make these things happen so that we provide the best experience possible. Now, why should you become a trainer in the Effective Statistician Academy? Well, first, just give back to the community. We all have received so much from the community, and I think it is so great to give back, to help others with your knowledge and leverage your existing trainings that you already have. Have a bigger impact. Second, Make yourself more widely known and create a branding around yourself. All these promotions that my team is doing for the Effective Statistician Academy, all that will also shine a light on you as a trainer. Through that, then that is the third point, you can also help your organization become more visible. If you want to attract more clients, if you want to attract more employees, then this can be a big part 
of your employer branding or of your company branding. Fourth, a teacher always learns by teaching. So if you help others and train others, you will improve your knowledge, the depths of your knowledge that you talk about, and you will improve your skills in terms of presentations and things like this. And that is the last thing. Next thing, you can become a much better communicator. Everybody that joins this academy as a trainer will get additional training in terms of how to communicate well, how to present well, how to make the training really, really great. And that will not only help you for the actual training in the community and the academy, but also for all the other presentations that you will get, for all your future trainings. And believe me, over a career, you will do a lot of these. Next point is you can join this group of all the trainers and network with each other. And believe me, networking with such a group of amazing people will definitely help you with your career, with your personal growth, with your career growth, with making more of what you have, with achieving bigger things in your career, irrespective of where you are in academia, in a CRO, in a sponsor organization, or whether you just lead your own company and you're a freelancer. This will definitely help. Last but not least, of course, parts of this training will be free and some parts will not be for free. And so for all the money, I will just split it 50-50 with the trainers. That way I want to give back and that way I can ensure that there is good visibility to the community, that there's good services to the trainers, all these kind of different things. I really love when everything is for free. Unfortunately, that's not how the world works. And in order to make something that is sustainable over time, I think you absolutely need to have something that is some kind of money involvement because that makes sure that there's bills are paid and that people that work on it can set things up in a professional way. So if you want to become a trainer, if you want to share things about technical skills like estimates, base, non-parametrics, whatsoever, or if you want to share about non-technical trainings like how the industry is working, how pricing is working in the industry, how you can best work together with senior management, whatsoever. Everything that helps statisticians, data scientists, up on programmers in being more effective in what they do is welcome to this academy. Just send an email to academy at theeffectivestatistician.com and then we will work together to make sure that there's a great training provided to the people. We will also have very soon an online kickoff for all these new trainers because I want all the trainers to go through this process together to help each other with kind of different tasks that are coming up so that we can effectively help each other, learn from each other, and have a great experience together in building the Effective Statistician Academy. So, once again, just send an email to academy at theeffectivestatistician.com if you want to become part of this academy. Today's episode was obviously sponsored by the Effective Statistician Academy. And the show was created in association with PSI. Thanks to Rain and her team at VVS, 
well to the show in the background and by the way also with all the stuff around the academy and thank you for listening reach your potential lead great science and serve patients just be an effective statistician Thank you.